All right, folks, let's talk about the IRX series by JBL. Um, I got these a couple weeks ago. I took them out on one event. It was actually an outdoor event. Um, they only make 12 inchers. They don't make the 15 inchers, but they do make a sub, which I also have. And um, I linked one sub to the two speakers, so um, in a traditional way. But the nice thing about these is that they are Bluetooth 5.0. So you can actually pair these to each other and for stereo sound. And everybody always asks, well, what about the subwoofer? Well, is, if you pair these Bluetooth and then you go out, so you're gonna pair it Bluetooth to stereo then you use this port, this through port, out to the ins on your subwoofer. Then you've got, so you've got two XLR cables coming out of the speakers into the sub, and that's it. So you can go Bluetooth with XLR cables coming out of here into the sub, and the sub will take the, the, uh, the low end. Now, what they say when you do that, on the sub, you want to put the crossover at 80 hertz. I don't know why. Um, but there's a 1300 watt peak speaker, according to the instruction manual. Um, the RMS, I'm assuming, because I've heard some rumors that it's around between six and 650 watts RMS and a thousand watt continuous, 1300 watt peak. Um, these by themselves, because they're 12 inch speakers. Now, even though JBL says that they will throw like a 15 inch speaker, um, I've got 15 inch Behringer's thousand watt cans that throw a lot, that throw farther than these. So, uh, sound quality though is terrific. If you're looking for sound quality, but not a lot of loudness, these are, these are great. Um, crystal clear, really nice separation between the mids and highs on the cans. Um, when I took the subwoofer out outside, it doesn't hit as hard as a 3000 watt Behringer. For four hundred and fifty dollars, it's almost a seven hundred watt sub, thirteen hundred watt. Doesn't say peak in the manual; it just says thirteen hundred watt. So I don't know what the peak is on the sub. I don't know why they didn't put peak on the in the manual. Um, but it has a limiter in the sub, so it's going to prevent it from making an ugly sound like the Behringer does. Um, it just limits, and you'll see a red light come on when your sub is limited. Uh, where Behringer. The red light comes on and it starts making an ugly sounds. So JBL does sound better as far as sound quality, um, but that Behringer 1500 XP is gonna be, uh, or is it 3000 XP? It's a 3000 watt sub peak, they said, on the Behringer. So for a little less money, if you want more loudness, go with the Behringer. If you want better sound quality, go with the JBL. Um, Another nice thing, couple features on, on this speaker, this 12 inch, they also make an eight inch. They don't make a 15 inch, so, uh, is you've got a, a bass boost. I can hardly tell the difference, to be honest with you, when I put the bass boost on. AFS, this is, um, this is to prevent um, feedback. So I guess apparently it scans, it, it looks for feedback frequencies and squelches them. <coughs> And then you've got music ducking. So if you got a microphone plugged into here, when you start talking in the mic, it'll duck the music. So, uh, so let's say you got Bluetooth plugged into these in stereo, and you've got a mic plugged in back here. When you start talking on the mic, the music goes down. It does have some EQ presets. Um, so it has a basic DSP. Um, we got one for music, one for vocal, one for speech, and one for flat. Um, I found that the music is more of a dynamic sound. Flat, um, if you want to just EQ it from your board, if you're a DJ, you can do that. Um, now the interesting thing too is, the each this guy has two channels. So if you're gonna go stereo with two of these, you're obviously just gonna wanna use one channel. Um, and these, ch you can feel a little bit of a, a click here, where this is gonna be your input from your mixer. Now, if you just have a regular microphone plugged in here, then you can you can go past Unity or past 
12 o'clock on this thing. So, but if you're plugging in from a mixing board or from a DJ controller or anything like that, that has its own preamp and gain on it, you do not want to go past 12 o'clock on here. You want to keep it at unity or, or, or straight up and down, um, 12 o'clock. Now, again, if you plug a mic in here, then you can, you can go up here because that doesn't have a preamp, so it's going to need the extra power. So what I did was I just kept it at 12 o'clock, and then I put the master volume all the way up, and I controlled that volume with my mixer. Um, and then the subwoofer has its own master control on it. And I had that probably at 3 o'clock most of the time. When, when you get some hard-hitting, um, you know, like rap and, and hip-hop and stuff like that, you may want to dial it down to maybe 1 o'clock. And uh, with this at 12, this, this all the way up, channel 1 at Unity, and then the subwoofer at between 2 and 3 o'clock, you should be good to go as far as levels. And then just keep your master at negative 10 dB is what I usually do on my mixer. So I use a Behringer mixer. So, um, But it sounded good. Um, I heard there were reports of it shutting off from overheating. That didn't happen to me. So I don't know if that was just the first batch. It looks like those were from over a year ago, maybe a year ago, those reports. Um, but it handled it well. Um, and uh, I kind of like I like the casing. I like the handles. You can carry it like this. You can carry it like this. It's easy to pull them out. It's only about 27 pounds. So for a 12-inch speaker, get it up on a pole. It's not so bad. And uh, there you go, JBL. IRX series. So it's the lowest price. It's like an introductory professional series. It's still considered a professional loudspeaker. Um, but I would use this for small to medium rooms. Um, outside, it doesn't hit hard enough. Um, I would probably go up to a, a Behringer 3000 watt and maybe some 15 inch speakers. 3000 3, watt sub and 1500 watt or 1000 watt 15 inch speakers for uh, outdoors but like in the backyard or something like that. But these, um, these are gonna be great for small rooms to medium rooms. Sound quality is fantastic, but it just doesn't have the volume um, that you can get from other speakers that are actually priced less or equal to this. But, um, but if you just want the, you know, you want that brand name, you show up to a, a small party or a basement or a, a small event, um, you know, you got your JBL, so they look good. People know the name, so it's kind of nice to have that in your arsenal. And uh, I guess that's about it. Thanks. Bye.